Hello, Flower Glamorous Cooking with Beverly family. Welcome! Today we are going to be making a Hennessy Pineapple Upside Down Cake. That is right. We are making a Hennessy Pineapple Upside Down Cake. So let's begin the process. I have two cups of sugar in the mixer. No, it's three cups of sugar, not two. Three cups of sugar. Now I am putting three sticks of unsalted butter into the mixer. You see, I'm still using, um, I did a review on this, on this mixer, a beater that you can use for your KitchenAid. And see, it has the rubber around the sides. That way, it helps you to get all the batter or the mixture from around the sides. You won't have anything left. Okay. Now we're going to mix together the sugar and the butter. it up real good until it's fluffy and I'll be right back when it has become fluffy. Now this cake calls for five eggs but we're going to start out with just putting in two eggs into the three cups of sugar and three sticks of butter mixture and we're going to mix this up. So far, we have put in three cups of sugar, mixed up three cups of sugar, three sticks of butter, two eggs, and now we're going to use, we need three cups of cake flour, but we're gonna put in half now and half later. Okay, now we're going to mix this up. It is mixing. Now I'm going to add the other three eggs. and put in the rest of the flour. And let's mix this up and see how it works. You don't want to overbeat it because this can be a very moist cake. After this mix up, we're going to add a cup, a cup, Lord have mercy, a can, a one pound can of fresh pineapples and you're gonna put it in with the juice and all. And one cup of heavy cream. Okay. 
mix this all together. If I don't make a mess, mess we all going to swap them out first. It is mixing, it is mixing. There you go. So, so far we have three cups of sugar, white sugar, three sticks of butter, unsalted, three cups of cake flour, one can of of crushed pineapples and the juice and one cup of heavy whipped cream. Okay. I think that's where it needs to be. I'm going to push this back just a little bit. Counter off. And now we're going to make the Hennessy butter. You will need two cups of dark brown sugar, two sticks of melted butter. Mix it all up together real good. Mix it up good. This is the Hennessy butter. You want to get all these, not all of them, but you want to get out most of the little lumps that are in here because you don't want it to be all lumpy. See? Look at that goodness. This is the Hennessy butter that goes in the bottom of the cake pan. Preheat your oven. To 350 degrees and you will cook this cake for, for an hour to 10 minutes then stick a toothpick in it see if it comes out clean and if it does take it out if not let it cook a little longer you will need three fourth cups of Hennessy liqueur liquor whatever you want to call it um, if you don't like Hennessy you can use rum any dark um, Whiskey will do, Jack Daniels, whatever, you it will do. And if you don't want to put alcohol in it, you can use fruit juice, whatever you want it to, 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 to use. And now we're going to mix this together. This is the Hennessy butter that will go in the bottom of the bunk, uh, cake pan. The Hennessy Butter. Here it is. Let me see if I can bring this where you can see it. Let me see where it is. Anyway, I'm not good at these camera angles. I'm working on it though. I'm working on it. Okay. You need to get your bunk pan and spray it. Spray it. Okay. Now we're going to put this Hennessy butter in the bottom of this bump pan. We're gonna pour it in the bottom. Okay. Get all this goodness out of here. Okay. That's in the bottom of the cake. And now we're gonna take our pineapple rings. As I pour the juice on the floor, <laughs> our pineapple rings, and we're going to put them in the pan. We're going to layer them all around. The 
today is my dropsy flopsy. That's everyday day. Drop, flop, get. Those senior moments. But that's all right. Okay. to put the batter on top. Okay. Now we're going to, I'm gonna go ahead and whip it around a little more since it's been sitting here. flour to be laying around and come out in the lump, do we? No, we don't. Now we're going to pour the cake batter into the bunk pan. And I'm pouring it all outside. And make sure that you uh, put this on a sheet cake pan when you put it in your oven in case it um, cooks over. Now we're going to put this in the oven for an hour and 10 minutes, uh, however long it may take it to cook. Here it is. There it is with the cake batter. So we'll be back when the cake is done. The cake is out of the oven, and here is the results. It is still hot, so I can't cut it. You need to let it cool off completely before you cut it. But look at this Hennessy pineapple upside down cake. Will you look at all of that goodness? I can't wait to get into it. Thank you everyone for coming and watching this video. I hope you try this recipe and if you do, please let me know. Have a blessed day.